Hello, hello. Hello. What is up, world? Yo, you stayed up till 2 a.m. for this? Oh, jeez. You're a legend. Thank you. All right. Well, to reward your hard work and your effort, we first have kittens, and then we have stretches. Hi, man. So you guys know me. I'm Brendan. This is Ruth, my girlfriend. Hi. Mm -hmm. We've been dating... Almost four years. Almost four years. And we just adopted two little kittens. Let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. I can always adjust it on my end. You want to introduce her? Yeah, here's the first kitten. In the oh, sorry. <laughs> here's the first kitten. She's a little tortoise shell. And her name is Estrella. Where'd the other one go? Uh, she's behind you. Come here. No, they're adorable. And they're super cuddly. And this one's her sister. She's a little calico. Her name is Aurora. <laughs> so tonight, as I stretch, and as we do recovery, these cats are gonna join us. Hopefully they'll stretch a little bit too. <laughs> Show you all their fun. <laughs> Hopefully they don't shut down the GoPro <laughs> and shut off my laptop. I've placed a cutting board. Here, I'll just show you guys. I've elegantly placed a cutting board <laughs> above my keyboard in thin hopes that they don't absolutely destroy it and knock it down, but they probably will. <laughs> Yes, but the main goal today is to get some stretching done, to get some work done and to move my body. So I like exploded my shoulder early last week and it's been slowly recovering. <laughs> Our cats are wild and it's been slowly recovering. But today I'm going to be doing a ton of stretches, a ton of exercises, not just for my shoulder, but for my whole body. Last night when I did the, uh, tricking on my offside, I realized that my offside muscles don't get nearly as much work as my good side muscles. So my body is way more sore than I expected it to be. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm gonna do a uh, side straddle. You wanna join me? Yeah. Oh, behind you. All right. Oh. Oh my goodness, the hip pop is real. Yeah. Are your legs tight too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Guys, what I would recommend is you find some open area and you do these stretches with us. All the time I hear trickers complain to me and moan that they do not feel motivated or have the time to stretch. Guys, stretching is really important. It helps a ton and it's not that bad. Especially if you do it in like a super chill atmosphere with people you enjoy and kittens who are fighting in the background. Seriously <laughs> fighting. Yeah, don't bring them up. <laughs> what is going on back here? Oh. Hey, 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 hey. They're going at it. <laughs> chill. It's chill. Gonna come up here? Ooh. Mm -hmm. All right, you little skateboardist. Chill. They're like going after each other like wild kitties. <laughs> yeah. You wanna play on your thing? They like playing like on it, in it, around it. They absolutely love it. Yeah, I, no, dude, I totally understand. You don't have to follow along. If you have any questions about tricking, I'm happy to answer. My goal is just to recover, so. If you guys want to be a part of that, by all means. Cats, what are you doing? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to have chill stretching. The play fight. When did we decide to adopt kittens and why? So, Ruth, <laughs> do you want to explain that? Yeah, I literally decided about two weeks ago that oh. I really wanted kittens. Um, we have a lot of stray cats in our backyard and seeing them running around kind of made me just want some of our own. It's also been kind of a hard year for me, so. You know, I figured some cute little fluffs would brighten anybody's day. Yes, and they're very cute little fluffs. <laughs> very, very cute little fluffs. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
behind me. Yeah, 2020 has been an absolute mess of a year. And a lot has gone down from the pandemic to personal loss on us. So we thought getting some gain with some little kittens would bring a lot of light to our lives right now. And it really has, honestly. Just even watching them play around today. Yeah, and we literally just picked them up today. So it's been a lot of fun. Ooh, precarious kitten placement. Yeah, kittens starting to mess around with the GoPro and the wires. <laughs> danger, danger. Oh. Oh, we got a question. Yeah. I'll slide forward in my middle split for this. Hey, did you have any trouble getting flexibility back when after your knee injury? Ooh, really good question. I feel like my non-injured knee is a lot tighter from overcompensating. No, that's exactly right. I completely agree that happened to me a lot right after I tore my ACL. What I would recommend is give it extra attention, give it extra time. Like this knee, because I got the uh, hamstring tendon surgery to replace my ACL, it will never be the same. This hamstring will never be like this hamstring. They're two different legs now. And I need to adopt or adapt my training to fit that. And that matters so much. So I try and give this leg extra time when I stretch. If it feels tighter, then it probably is. So just give it extra time. I'm trying to read the B-Twist question. I'm sorry guys, I'm dyslexic, it takes me a minute. Yeah, so if you wanna keep a straight back when twisting, my biggest advice would be to condition your lower back. So little exercises like banana rolls and arch body uh, rolls. So this is the exercise. You wanna do a tip? Uh, I don't wanna hit you. <laughs> you just lay right here. All right. Uh. So you lay on your belly, you get your arms up above the ground, you lift your legs up, and then you just go back and forth a ton. It's a great exercise for keeping your body stupid straight when you twist, because the entire time you're arching back and forth, you are flexing and tensing your lower back. So when you twist, you not only have to tense your lower back, but you have to tense your core, because like you said, you're trying to get straight. So after you do it on your back, turn around, Sorry. <laughs> Kitten distraction. Kitten distraction. Once you do it on your belly, you have to do it on your back. So same thing though. Cats are like, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> yeah. But doing those exercises a ton will help you keep straight when you twist. Trust me, yeah. I do the same thing when I try and do... It's also like a uh, confidence thing and a set thing. If you have plenty of air time, you'll be able to twist straight a lot more comfortably than if you're just trying to rush it because you don't have that much going for you in like means of air time. You want plenty of time to do the tricks you want to do. Now, I'm gonna do the same side split, but then I'm gonna move it to a front split. So, yeah. I'm just stupid tight, guys, from training the past two days. Oh. So I plan on doing a lot more variety streaming coming up. When I first started, it was all tricking sessions, and I do want to stream mostly tricking sessions, but I do like spicing and recovery. I got everything set up for a Melee stream, so I'll probably play some Melee very near in the future. I'm really excited for that. Oh, this is painful. How you doing? Mm, the burn. The burn. The burn. The burn. The burn is good. It's okay, I got a cat loaf looking at me. Yeah, they are like little bread loaves of cat. It's adorable. Oh! <laughs> well, hello. The cat just went for my groin. <laughs> scared the death out of me. <sighs> Kind of like tapped my balls. I was like, what happened? <laughs> Stretching with cats. Maybe not recommended. I don't right. know, it's pretty adorable. 
So when you guys hold a stretch, I think you should hold it for a good long amount of time. Oh, people are asking if you trick. Uh, a little bit. I'm taking his tricking classes on Fridays. She's pretty good. She's being humble. She can aerial. She's done over 100 B kicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's pretty good. Ugh. It's harder to like pick yourself up in a stretch and pick your chest up, but that is definitely what's best to gain flexibility. <laughs> I'll just wheel these beasts over to you guys. They're going at it on the computer chair. There you go. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> switch to the other front split. Oh, oh another question. It's been almost two weeks since I trained bee kick and did something to my hip. Oh. Oh no. And now it feels like it's in this weird state. No, I totally understand. If your body feels like it's in a weird state, stretch, condition, just be kind to it. If you do that, it will do a ton to keep you healthy and happy. These guys are going at it. They're sisters, so I'm not too worried about them fighting and playing. No, apparently they love to do this. Apparently, like, this is one of their favorite things to do. Just go back and forth, which is pretty cool. They're pretty cute cats. I really like them. They'll clean each other everything, too. Yeah. So when doing this front split, for me at least, it feels different doing it on my, oh dang, <laughs> doing it on my uh, non-ACL tear side and doing it on the side of my body where I had the tear. It just feels very different. You are missing hamstring. Yeah, yeah. It's not a bad thing for them to feel different, but I am just like always aware of it. Chill, kitties. Don't go too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Oh. If you hear cracks and pops, that is me or her. Oh. We're both poppers and crackers when we stretch. Yep, I just got my back. And I felt great. Yeah. Oh, that was a long front split. All right, Kitty. I'm gonna move the chair back. Yeah. Watch the pool. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's Thomas. There he is. Who else could that be? <laughs> if that is not you, Thomas, I am gonna freak my stuff. Yo, I'm so glad to see you, dude. If you want a close-up of the kittens, let me know. Yo, we got you. Oh, he knows! <laughs> he knows! So this is a health and fitness stream, so I do have to keep stretching as we go. We're doing some sort of conditioning. I'm gonna stretch my uh, quads, because I did a ton of front swings the other day when working my rise. So I'm gonna lean back. Ugh! This is the most relaxing stretch for me. This is the least relaxing stretch for me. I hate this stretch so It feels so, much. so good. I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it could be worse. Oh. Oh. It's hard for me to like just relax into it. My uh, quads are definitely the tightest parts of my legs. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, good message. All right, do you find ax step slash loser to be easier than running Webster? I tried ax today. So like, it depends on how good you are at running, like, and getting that set. Someone like Adam Davenport, who is really good at transitioning from that loser setup and getting all the momentum from it, I'm sure he'd prefer to do an ax to a running Webster, but someone like Jason Paul, who does a lot of parkour, I'm sure that he would much prefer to do a, a run than an ax kick. And I think having a martial background also helps a ton. Like if you're good at martial arts, doing that kick into the front swing will feel a lot more natural. And if you did a lot of like gymnastics or parkour, doing a running Webster will feel more natural. I think it's really individual. So when people ask me like if one thing is easier or harder than another, it's often a really hard question to answer. 
I'm gonna do some butterflies. Oh, I will join you. Oh. oh, the cats are fighting in the litter box. Ruth, can you grab them? <laughs> <laughs> Not they should fight anywhere fight but where their poop kitties. is. It's not good to fight in your poop. I think we learned that as... <laughs> as what? Did you fight in your poop? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here. Hi. You wanna rat my shoulders? I, I wanna show you to Thomas. Oh yeah. So, Thomas, this is Aurora. She is adorable. She has this like awesome little mark on her forehead. And this is Astrea. Look at the camera. <laughs> they're super chill kittens, except when they're trying to go at each other. Oh, mm. Not at the computer. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a ton of uh, shoulder work as well. So I think to start that, I'm gonna do a backward shoulder stretch. So I'm gonna go this way and go that way. I'm gonna yeah, take so my go arms. Yes, <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna scoop my hips forward and then try and move my legs side to side. Yo, if I can teach these cats how to trick, I will be so beyond hype. I would just, I would die for it. <laughs> well, maybe not die for it, but I'd do a lot. I would love to see these cats trick. I think they'd be great. They're yeah. so energetic. Yeah. A lot of times when people tell me they struggle with stretching, I think that's because they're not stretching in a fun way. Like if you stretch with your cats and your girlfriend with some chill music, it's really nice. But if you stretch like alone in a dark room like a monk, it's not going to be nearly as enjoyable. Oh, these cats are going wild. Huh? Uh -oh. you, you're tapping the wire? No. Have they can't. found the stream? Nope. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I have to do is each night I try and break up the scar tissue in my post ACL knee by bending it and then leaning back onto it slightly. So when it comes to my knee's flexion, Yes, my knee's flexion. My right knee doesn't want to flex in as much as my left. So if I pull my right hamstring up off the ground as hard as I can, it goes about that high. This is as hard as I can pull. Oh, and it's already starting to cramp. Whereas this one can like shoot up, no problem. And it's literally because there's missing muscle in that one. So I have to break it the scar tissue in the knee down each night by going back and forth a little bit. And we also have my trusty handy dandy friend, the foam roller. Would you like one as well? Yes, yes. please. Yes. And a kitten. So one of the parts of me that is always super sore is my butt. And I always need to roll it out after sessions. And whenever I feel my hamstrings start to cramp, like I just did, I know I need to foam roll it a ton and specifically focus on my hamstring and my butt. This cat is like, what are you doing right now? What is your plan here, bro? <laughs> Yeah, I can just feel this lump of tightness that is my muscle right now, and it doesn't feel good. It definitely needs a ton of work. And it's always noticeably tighter on my right leg, which had the surgery, than it is on my left. Though my left leg is stronger than my right, which is funny. It's a little bit stronger and a little bit looser. It's a serious issue that I'm always trying to correct by doing conditioning and a lot of work on my offside, or on my right leg specifically, not even just offside tricks, but on my personal right leg, because it's messed up. Not as strong as it used to be. I got wounded. Thomas was there, Thomas remembers. 
Now they're excited. You want to bring some toys over? Yeah. Oh, mom gonna pick up the mess. <laughs> yeah, guys, I will foam roll and stretch for about an hour or two every day. I don't always stream it like I'm doing tonight, but it is something that I do every single day, regardless. Yo, thank you, Thomas. It was a struggle to make that recovery. It was a struggle, but we made it. Yo, Lee, what is up, my guy? We are stretching. Right now, I'm foam rolling on my butt because it's super sore, but stretching is definitely one of the things we're gonna be doing a lot today. No, oh, and we got a longer question. <sighs> Do you have any tips on preventing getting sore or to get less sore after sessions because I'm getting very sore the day after I sessioned. So what I would say is if you're really sore the day after you sessioned, you had a really good session. You did good, my guy. Now you need to focus on recovering for the next session. Now, I also want to clarify when I say being sore is good. If your muscles are sore, like your calf or your quad or your hamstring, that's good. You want your muscles to be sore because then after you recover, they will be stronger. But if your joint is sore, like your knee and your ankle, then you might be training too hard on your body and your joints might not be able to take it yet. So one, are you sore because of stretch or because, huh, are you sore because of joint pain or are you sore because of muscle pain? If you're sore because of muscle pain, it's a good thing. Focus on recovery, eat a ton of protein, drink a ton of water, eat enough carbs so that way you can fuel that recovery. And also, if it is the joint pain, you need to change your training. Train in a softer way, train in a more chill way. Doing that will totally prevent a lot of joint pain from tricking. That is like the big question though, if it is, joint pain or muscle pain. Muscle pain is good, you'll recover, you'll get stronger. Joint pain can lead to damage, so I'm very careful with that. I also realized from training last night that doing the offside cheek gainer works my lower right hip a ton, so it is just nutty sore. So I'm gonna roll out my lower back. Your muscles are sore, that's really good. Yeah, if your muscles are sore, that's not a bad thing. I live most of my life with extremely sore muscles and kind of sore joints that I'm really careful for. I think if your muscles are sore, it's a really good thing. You're doing things right. I think if your joints are sore, then we might have to look at how you're training. No, you're doing good. Eat a ton of protein, get plenty of sleep, one thing that I did before the session, or before, not the session, but before the stretching, was I took an Epsom salt bath. A uh, recovery tip I got from Monsieur Michael Guthrie. Epsom salt baths are awesome. I find they're really good for recovery. They help me relax my whole body, which is not easy for me to do. It's something I really struggle with. Whew. Yo, I'm so glad you got your corks. That's awesome. No, I swear one day when traveling becomes a thing again and I can go to gatherings, we will do all the synchro tricks, me and all my homies. I am so hyped. I am so excited for this pandemic to be over. That is one of the main reasons we got these kittens. Come here. Yeah, give me love. <laughs> One of the main reasons we got these kittens was because we were lonely. It's hard to not be seeing people. Like I normally see my tricking friends multiple times a year at different gatherings and events, and it's such a good time to connect with them. And I have not left the state of Maryland in over six months. And that is like unheard of for me. My entire lifetime, I have not done that. But I think it's really good to have a, a good local focus and really care about the community around me that I can touch right now. But I do really miss getting that 
international and total national relationship with people, being able to see you, hang out with you, do tricks together. I really miss that. All right. I'm going to do a stretch that my body will probably not enjoy. What are you looking for, Kitty? She's trying to jump on the chair. Hey, she is. She got it. there. <laughs> oh, how cute. I'm going to be doing a bridge. Oh. Yeah, my body and my shoulder is not going to enjoy this bridge. So I got a shoulder injury the other day, my dude. And it's slowly recovering, but I definitely impinged it. I definitely gave myself shoulder tendonitis for a week or two. It'll recover. It'll be fine, but it's going to take some time. And the bridge is a really important stretch to do during this time, if I want it to recover properly, which I do. Have a kitty. Ugh. Yeah, even just doing this, my shoulder is not happy about it. But it definitely needs to do it. I'm gonna do some bridge push-ups too to work it through its range of motion. I'm not gonna do your version. Your version's too intense. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. No one has to do my version. So what she means is I try and put my lower back, hello kitty. I try and put my lower back and back all the way on the ground and then I push all the way up from there. I'm just gonna tap my head on the ground. Yeah. Unhappy shoulder. Oh. Very unhappy shoulder. But it will recover with time. Another thing I brought to help me recover the shoulder is my good friend, the therapy band. If you want to increase your shoulder flexibility, this is a really good drill to do. I'm sorry, I don't have one for you, Ruth. Really. <laughs> you wrap it around your hands, then you go over your head and back. Going back and forth a ton. To adjust the resistance, you can pull up and in on the band. I'm trying to get like medium-ish resistance. I'm not trying to go super hard with it. Like I said, my goal is to work on recovering the shoulder. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Not killing it through intense conditioning. No, I'll probably be doing this exercise for like four or five minutes. I need to do a ton of it. And it feels really good on my shoulder. And there's also a ton of like little variations you can do of this exercise as you do it. Like if I pump my arms out to the side, I can activate that part of my deltoid as I do the stretch going over my head. And of course you want to do these things to comfort and not try and overdo them. Even though I'm doing the exercise at this level of tension, I could definitely wrap it up more and just go ham with it, but I'm not doing that because I'm really trying to focus on recovery. One of the big things to help improve your recovery is going to be stimulating your blood flow. And one of the best ways to stimulate your blood flow is just by moving it. Your uh, veins work through a skeletal muscle pump. Yep. Yep, the skeletal muscle pump. So when you move your muscles, the veins push your blood back through your heart. And if you do not move your muscle enough, the vein will not get as much blood circulating through it and your recovery will be slower. So just doing little motions will help a ton. Hey, have a nice night, man. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. I hope you sleep well. Sleep. Thanks for staying up till two. Yeah, seriously, that is crazy. Sleep is a super important thing for recovery. So please get some good sleep, my guy. Oh. The kitty lounge. The kitty lounge. Oh, they are lounging right now. Imagine hardcore. They're cute though. We need the energy of cats right now. Oh, my guy. 
So hey, in my shoulder my tendons rub, so I use this ball from my chiropractor on it to loosen it so I can get my shoulder loose. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. I have a similar ball. Ruth, can you pass me the ball over there? Yes. Having like a lacrosse ball or some sort of like hard fitness ball is a great thing for massage. So this is the one that I use. It is a tiger ball. I don't know, but it's made for uh, rolling your muscles on it. I'm gonna do a little bit for my shoulder. Bah, bah, bah. You literally use it just like you would use a foam roller. But instead of getting a like line of tension, so you can kind of work on your muscles, the big fat ones like a foam roller does, this one acts more like a needle point going right in. How do I feel about massage guns? So I really like massage guns. I've tried them a little bit in the past. My thing is I just, I don't enjoy it as much as getting an actual massage or getting like a ball or a foam roller and massaging myself. I like to have a lot of control when I massage. I'm trying to like literally pinpoint the exact muscle that I want to work on. And a massage gun is like a shotgun where I need a sniper rifle. This is like a sniper rifle working on my shoulder. Whereas like if I just took a Theragun and beat on my shoulder for half an hour, while it would do great things for my shoulder, it's not nearly as good as like this samurai sword tool that I like using on my body. But I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I know a lot of people swear by them. It's just not something that I really have used that often and that much. Oh, this shirt has a giant hole in my armpit, by the way. This is my Plan Zero shirt that I've had for over four years. I have taken this shirt to Hooked. I've taken this shirt to Experience Tricking, where I met my guy. And the shirt has gone with me everywhere. It is beaten to death, but I absolutely love wearing it because my guy Kyle Skelly is a beast, and I want to support him and what he does. And he's such a nice guy. Feel that roof. I'm about to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a little straddle and lean forward. Oh. Giving her little belly scratches. <laughs> Giving her little belly scratches. Yeah. Oh, she does seem to be really enjoying it over there. So I find that stretching should not be a very passive thing. You should be active when you stretch. So like moving around, trying to get just the right muscles, trying to attack them with different tension. So like there's a big difference between stretching and kind of chill and going really hardcore and trying to go really deep with each stretch. Being like active and thinking about how much you're tensing your muscles and going into your stretch. It's a super important thing. Now help a ton when you do the stretches. So I'm gonna do a seal stretch next. Oh, I desperately need to do a seal stretch. My lower back will occasionally like lock out and decide to hate me. So I try and do plenty of good seal stretches. Oh, this is cute. We're like, right, lined up. <laughs> and especially when doing this stretch, I like to go back and forth and twist my body. I'll almost twist my body or do little bounces with every single stretch. I find that that gives me a deeper stretch and it makes it just more of an active routine. And I like just going on my sides, getting that nice side stretch. Yeah. One thing I also like to do in this stretch is I'll drop my elbow down, I'll grab my back, and I'll turn even more. Now, 
I also want to do a little bit of conditioning for the shoulder. Oh, another question. Oh no. I also want to do a little bit of conditioning for my shoulder. Not anything too crazy, but just basic exercises to keep it healthy. Oh yeah. Hey, do you think short, intense stretches are better or do you get more range of motion for long, relaxed ones? So I think it depends on what your goal is. If you're trying to currently maintain the flexibility you have right now, I do think short, intense stretching sessions are a good way to keep your body limber. But if you're trying to gain more flexibility and increase your range of motion, I would recommend long form stretching. But as you stretch your muscle, it'll get a little bit weaker. Your muscles are like a rubber band, and by stretching them, they will kind of chill. Yeah, you want that split? Yeah, so it's gonna take a long time. Like one of my favorite exercises is to find a favorite wall of mine. I'll just prop up, hit a middle split on that wall, watch something on my phone. It's super chill, it's super fun, and it is way more enjoyable than trying to just stand here like this for two hours. You just can't do that. Huh. And while you should do like little stretches like this, you can't always do stretches like this. You gotta stretch in a way that's enjoyable for you in a way that's gonna make it fun. Like watch your favorite anime. I find that shonen anime like Hunter x Hunter, My Hero, Naruto, all that stuff, while you're stretching or working out, it is awesome motivation. I'm just gonna do some basic calisthenics to keep my shoulder healthy. I'm gonna start with push-ups and do a lot of push-up variations. What are we starting with? Just regulars, just okay. regular chill. Nice and easy. Did you hear my shoulder pop? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my elbow's clicking. Yeah. I find calisthenics are good for movement training. And good for just keeping your body healthy all around. Oh, you're doing more. Oh no, I did one extra because my elbow clicked. Oh, let's go. Get buff. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude, while you're watching the stream, stretch. I don't know what you're doing right now. I don't know how much room you have, but pop a squat. <laughs> Hit a middle split. Do something like that. Doing that for like, and you can go one minute on, one minute off. One minute on, one minute off. Do that for an hour of just sitting down watching TV and boom, you got half an hour of deep stretches in. That's awesome. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna get my arms like double shorter with length and I'm gonna do typewriter push-ups. Have you done these before? What are typewriter push-ups? Okay, so they're really good for your shoulder and your pec. Okay. You get your arms like double shoulder with length or maybe right. like one and a half. You go down on one side. Uh -huh. Sweep across the middle and then up on the other. We'll see if I'm strong enough to do that. Down on the other side, across, and then up on the other. Don't go like all Jeez. the way down. Go like as far down as your body can take it. It's like a circle push up. It's really good for your shoulders. Yeah, I don't do this crazy stuff in class. Nope. <laughs> They are a lot of work and good work. Will stretching help joint pain or only muscle? It will, it depends on the cause of the joint pain because joint pain can be caused by so many different things. It's hard for me to say stretching will help your joint pain. Stretching will always help muscle pain. I know that because you're gonna increase that blood flow. You're gonna speed up your recovery time. If the same issue is your joint is just overworked a little bit, Stretching will probably help that. But if you're just beating your joint down, or like when I tore my ACL, when I got an acute injury within my knee, if my dumb self decided to just start stretching it all willy-nilly, I could have caused even more damage. So with joint pain, I think it's just go to a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Go to a doctor. If it's extreme joint pain, if it's really minimal joint pain, take a day off. Look at your training and have heavy self-reflection. Doing like cardio will help a ton. Doing stretches just throughout the day will help a ton. And doing light conditioning that's just movement oriented 
will also help your body just recover faster and you'll have less of that joint or muscle pain. <sighs> yes. So. What next? <laughs> this is gonna be a weird one. All right. We're gonna do table push-ups. So we're going to get into a table. All right. And then like drop down by leaning backwards. Onto your elbows? Onto your elbows. And then push back up. You can drop your hips to the floor. Bah. 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 Oh. Bah. Yeah, the cats are just sleeping at this point. <laughs> Like little bread loaves. Come here. Oh, they're so tired. <laughs> they are tired. They've had a busy day. They did have a busy day. We literally just adopted them. Ugh. <sighs> but between exercises, being able to pet kittens, that is the way to train. That is the way to train. I also love that little mark she has on her forehead. Yeah. It looks really cool. It looks very starry. Mm -hmm. No, don't go to bed on me. I need to make games. <laughs> I'm going to just set her right here. <laughs> Same position. Same position. Put her right in front. Center stage. All right. Oh, she's like, I don't, I don't want to be in there. <laughs> she's like, I'm chilling. I'm camera shy. Which is all right. You gonna come to me? I'm gonna do another shoulder exercise. Okay. So, side push or not side push-ups, but like flag push-ups. So you're going up into a side flag, mm -hmm. and then going back down. I'm trying to do it just super controlled. You're having a great time with that cat over She's there, aren't you? She's decided to sit on me. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of too cute to pass up, you know? Now you enjoy it. Yeah. You enjoy that moment of the cat burying itself into your arms as I slowly make gains to the side. She's purring. <laughs> oh, you gonna let me do stuff? Side plank gains. Well, it's mostly my shoulder. I want to get my shoulder more used to supporting my weight on it. Mm. All right, this is going to be mountain push-ups. Push-up variation for uh, getting you used to putting extreme weight on your arms. Now I'll probably do some handstands. So you get into like a mountain position. I'm gonna move you. No, leave her there. Leave her? I'll okay, just her. kidding. And then you go down and up. Kitty. <laughs> cat tail. Mm -hmm. I love this cat. Definitely the tightest part of me is my lower back. I'm gonna roll it out a little bit more. I really do swear by foam rolling. If you're a tricking athlete and you're not foam rolling, I do not know why not. I do not know what you're doing with your life. It's a simple thing. Or just do some sort of self-massage. It doesn't have to be foam rolling, like rolling around on a tennis ball. That is awesome too. But just doing something. Yeah, I just keep always massaging it. I'm always trying to work on that shoulder. 
That kind of looks like it's having the time of its life. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Hi. Should I make a cat emote? I might make a cat emote. With their little faces? With their faces. That'd be so cute. That would be really cute. Yeah, guys, if you want to do good self-massage, what I would recommend is to try and go like between the striations and between the muscle groups. So not like between my tricep and my deltoid, like I don't want to massage right there. I want to massage right on the muscle against the way it's uh, striated. So my tricep connects up and down right here. So I want to massage against that. Same with my deltoid. My deltoid is like little strings going vertically from here to here for the most part. So I want to dig right in. Oh man, this camera shows my farmer's tan so well. <laughs> Look at how pale my shoulder is compared to my forearm. That is ridiculous. This is what happens when you're always filming outside. I like filming outside, but I cannot be outside for my entire life. Not when it's cold. <laughs> Not when it's cold. Well, I was outside when it was cold for the past few years. You're right. I'd film tutorials in all weather. In all weather, in all places. Oh. And it got me strong, but it is not sustainable. I'll start working some handstands next to you. All right. You can just, just keep, keep doing your thing. Her. Just keep petting right. the cat. She's having a great time. Whoa. My body feels so heavy. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good duration. Yeah. I can be happy with that duration. Especially when you're feeling heavy and your shoulder's all messed up and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to push it. Like a 20% handstand. It's such a happy cat. Mm -hmm. oh. I think this floor is also sloped against you, so. I don't care. <laughs> I need a good handstand. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, you're working no, I against it. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking as I'm trying to do it. Oh. Power to you. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna use this wall to do like a super duration handstand. I'm gonna give my wrists a second to recover, re inflate. Then I'm gonna just do like a bridge against that wall. Okay. It'll stretch out my shoulders more. You gonna do like the back walk over against the wall? I'm gonna go or, here. Or like back bend. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just you're gonna. You're doing that. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm gonna hang out here for a while. This is our life. Thank you for accepting me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> And then if I'm a real OG, I could do a hands or a bridge push-up from here. Oh. oh, those look painful. I'm not a real OG. <laughs> yo, yo, my guy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh. Still working on the shoulder, still working on the body. Trying to make gains. Look at how veiny my arms get. My <laughs> arms are stupid veiny. Oh. It's wild. Human banana, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, Thomas. Yo, the banana sampler. I still have that banana costume. I still have that banana costume. I could use it one day. I could use it very soon. Honestly though, my big idea, and let me know what you guys think, because this is a this is my idea, is I'm going to be streaming in a Goku outfit for the next like month. <laughs> <laughs> 
because it's the month of October and I can't actually go out and celebrate Halloween in any meaningful way. I'm going to just get a Goku outfit off Amazon. I'm going to wear it and I'm going to stream with it and I'm going to throw some banger tricks. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> the yes, yes, I'm glad you're enthusiasmed. Enthusiasmed. Enthusiastic. Okay. Enthusiastic, that would be the word. Yeah, no, I'm super hype. I'm super hype. I'm gonna take the little massage ball and stick it right on my lower back. Oh. And I'm like putting it on my hip bone. And trying to get the muscle attachments on my hip bone. Oh, and it hurts. The cat stretch. The cat stretching too? Yeah. Good. We should all be stretching. <laughs> yeah, guys, animals naturally stretch. This is one thing that I think people discount way too much. Animals enjoy stretching. They like stretching. Why are we so against stretching as human beings? Why are we so lazy when like cats on their own volition, look at this cat. This cat is so chill and lazed out, but it's stretching. You should stretch too. <laughs> Be like the cat, be like nature, and stretch. <laughs> <laughs> she just let you pull her arm. No, she's having a great time. Yeah, she is. I'm gonna do a little bit more of that shoulder exercise I was doing earlier. This time I'm gonna do it with a little bit more tension. Yeah, and like I definitely feel little pops and little cracks in my shoulder as I do this. Yo, good, you nice. should be stretching. If you're watching the stream and you're not stretching, you're making a mistake. <laughs> the goal is to be stretching right now, making gains, feeling good about our bodies. A lot of times when a tricker doesn't feel good about their body, I'll start grilling them about their body and start asking them a ton of questions. Like, how often do you stretch? What kind of stretches do you do? Do you do any conditioning? Do you jog? Do you do other sports besides tricking to cross train? And if they answer no to all of these questions, I'm like, you don't really want to get good. You don't really want to get good. What would you recommend to cross train for different sports for people? I, I think they should have fun with it and do whatever their heart tells them. So like, I will cross train with whatever people throw at me. I took a pole dancing class. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she took me to a pole dancing class at one point. So I cross trained with pole dancing for a day. Cross train with anything, gymnastics, taekwondo. I think martial arts, specifically for tricking, is a really good thing to cross train. But I don't think you should be like constrained or feel like you need to do something that's like super for your sport. I think kind of the point of cross training is to switch it up, do something a little bit different. The pain in my hip has very slightly decreased, yes. That is what we want. <laughs> I'm so glad, seriously. Doing little stretches, even if they don't feel like they're a lot, they'll build up over time. And they will create a flexible athlete. You want to train like the athlete you want to be. So if you want to be more flexible, stretch more. If you want to be stronger, lift some weights. If you want to have better movement, maybe take a yoga class or do some Pilates. I don't know. My cat's a purr machine. Yeah. Someone asked you a question. Oh, I'm coming. I'm weak, but I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you have a chem test tomorrow, just out of curiosity. How knowledgeable am I in chemistry? I'm very knowledgeable in chemistry. So fun fact, at the University of Maryland, I made it into the biochemistry program 
before I switched to kinesiology back when I wanted to be a doctor. So hit me with your chemistry questions. I got you. Challenge me, son. But I also need to stretch. <laughs> Do I think I can stretch? Yeah, I do think you can stretch too much, but not if your goal is to be stupid flexible. So contortionists will stretch for like six to seven hours a day because that's their job. They're trying to get stupid flexible. If your goal is to develop strength and mix that with your flexibility, I do think you can get too flexible. But if you want to get as buff as Juji Mufu, and still have your splits, you can, because Juju Mufu still has his splits. So there's not this false dichotomy between strength and flexibility, but I do think you can stretch too much, especially if you're an impact athlete like a gymnast. A lot of the times gymnasts' ankles and knees will be a little bit too flexible than they need to be for such a heavy impact athlete, and that can lead to issues later down the line, and that's why in their 40s and 50s, they'll tear Achilles and like, wreck ACLs. It's not a good thing. Okay. I'm only learning the states of matter. So I think this is easy. What's Boyle's law? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's part of the ideal gas law sets. I think Boyle's is pressure over volume. Don't ask me. I didn't like chemistry. All right, this is my final answer. I think Boyle's <laughs> Law is, um... It's part of the ideal gas law. PV equals NRT. So, Pivnert. Pressure times volume. I think Boyle's Law is that pressure and volume correlate within a container. That's my final answer. <laughs> Let is me know if I'm completely wrong. Show? I feel like I'm on a game show. These guys are asking me questions about chemistry. I'm down. I'm down as anything. I gotta keep doing my stretches. But I, I'm happy to answer your questions about chemistry. If Boyle's Law is one of the other ideal gas law components, I still think I win because I remember <laughs> PV equals NRT. I'm gonna pop off so hard if I'm right. <laughs> what I have no idea. You are. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'll all right. be all right. Oh, what's the answer? Oh, oh. Oh, it's pr it's temperature, pressure, and volume are inversely proportional. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I woke up the kitty. Oh, I'm sorry, she's kitty. Stretching? Yeah, look, look at her stretch. stretch. She wants to stretch with us. I feel like, ah, oh, that's what, I got the Pivnert thing. I got the Pivnert thing. Close. I was so close. I'll call it a win in my book. <laughs> Kitty, you want to do a cat stretch with me? She's like, what? She's like, nah. Not into the cat stretch. Hi. You want to join me with your sister? Yeah. Hey, hey, what is up, my guy? My guy, my guy. Oh, okay, get out of there. I'm trying to stretch. She's trying to get into your shirt again. She is trying to get into my shirt again. Yeah, Aurora's knocked out. Is she? Yeah. Oh, she is. She's slumping. That's all right, they can be slumping. Yo. Oh. Mr. <laughs> what are you doing? She's trying to help me get a uh, nice flexible shoulder. Yeah, she is. Oh. <laughs> yes, cat. This is exactly <laughs> what I need to stretch. A cat all up in my face. <laughs> She's like, why are you playing with me? I don't understand. She's like, give me attention. Where's my attention? I'll give you attention. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, the sisters are you doing? Oh. Gonna do a little bit more shoulder massage. I should have brought up the tiger bomb. It's in the room. You want me to grab it? Nah, I'll put some Tiger Bomb on after this. Oh, I have some in my bag. Oh, he hit me with another one. Let's do one more. I'll do as many as you send me. This is fun for me. There's huh? Tiger Bomb in my bag if you want any. Okay. Yeah. What is the difference between sublimation and deposition? Ooh. Also, you love the... Yeah, no, these cats are awesome. So, sublimation is when a solid turns into a air without hitting 
water as a middle step. So like dry ice sublimates. Um, deposition. I feel so shitty about my college education right now. <laughs> I feel so shitty about my college education. <laughs> I mean, it was four years ago. It was almost four, four years, years ago. Plus since you've taken chemistry. Yo, I appreciate the questions though. What is deposition? Yo, my guy with the raid, what is up my people? <laughs> It's so nice to have you guys. Today we are doing conditioning with the kittens. So Ruth and I just adopted two adorable little kittens. This is Estrella. She is absolutely adorable and having a great time. Oh, it is stretching day, my dude. It is stretching day and kitten day. Ruth and I adopted cats today. Oh. That is Estrella. And we got a slumping Aurora. And this is Aurora right here. Aurora, let the people know. <laughs> can we get a living room flip? You can get a living room handstand, living room cartwheels. I don't want to do living room things that could land me on these cats. <laughs> but I will do... I'll do an aerial. Oh, all right. I'll Maybe... do a... If you can corral the cats, Ruth, oh. can you like go to that corner? Or... Alright, hold on. I want to do a flip for you, my dude. You brought all these people. I need to do a flip for you. One kitten. You got the you got one kitten? Where am I going? This corner? Yeah, that corner works. Alright. Kitten number two. Yo, this is so ill-advised. I'm on the second floor too. Uh, there you go. It's alright, I did it. I did it. Now we can go back to stretching and give the kittens freedom. Hey. Yeah, no, these cats are adorable and we're gonna be making gains. Dude, you're a lovely man. Thank you so much for coming out, for being a part of the stream. Yo, if the cat does an aerial, I will be so hyped. People have been asking me ever since I got these cats if I'm going to teach the cat how to trick, and I want to teach the cat how to trick, but it's sketchy to teach a cat how to trick. But that is definitely the goal. That is definitely the move. If I can get one of these cats to do a backflip and get it on film, I'm gonna freak out. That's just gonna be the best time ever. You know it would be. No, it would be. It would be. It'd be awesome. I know I do that bridge thing, but do it the other way. So like a pike. And just hang out like this for a minute. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, I need to do a ton of conditioning, stretching, and work for my shoulders. So I'll be doing a ton of weird exercises. Like these crazy planchy wall push-ups. And we have kittens. I'm not just stretching today, we're also conditioning. She's watching you. She looks very entertained. Yeah, she's got wide eyes. It's because I'm sweating bullets trying to put in work. <laughs> Yo, go trick. Let's go. I'm so hyped. Yo, if it's me, Will, and the two kittens, we're definitely losing. I feel like I could go against the garrison. I, so like, Sonic, my guy, he asked me yesterday if I could battle the garrison, who would be like my crew to battle them with. And I decided that it would be me, Will Conies, Adam Davenport, and Ethan Turner. I think that squad could easily take on the garrison. Well, not easily. The garrison is a mighty fighting force. But we would have like a fighting chance against them. You are having a great time, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> but no, if it's me, Will, and the cats, I mean, Will is a beast. Will can carry his his weight, but... I don't know, if we train them. <laughs> if, we, if we train them, she says. I don't know if these cats would consent to that level of training. Don't know until we try. Don't know till we try, she says. <laughs> I'm gonna do more splits. You enjoy your cats. <laughs> <laughs> They've immobilized me. What is up, my guys? What is up, my people? 
If you have any questions about tricking, I'm happy to answer. Any questions about stretching, health, fitness, I will give you the straight and narrow. I'm happy to share any of the knowledge I've gained. <laughs> <laughs> she also has a, a college degree in kinesiology. She she can help you too. <laughs> it's been a minute, but I can try. Yeah. We are educated. We are learning. And we are trying to make gains and maintain our flexibility. Ugh. Well, you're just petting cats right now. Well, I, I was working with you, but <laughs> no, so I decided I, no, I was I, a bed. I'm joking. Yeah, they <laughs> did make you the bed. They did make you the bed. <laughs> Yo, he's asking if Sai is any good at tricking. I don't know. I don't know. Can he link a sampler? I don't know. Sai, Sai, if you're here, link a sampler. And if you haven't made a sampler yet, please make a sampler. Oh, you're not that late, dude. Today we are just uh, stretching. We're doing a little bit of conditioning. And we're playing with the kittens. I just adopted two beautiful little kittens and I absolutely love them. That is definitely like the top thing on my mind right now. They're like 10 weeks old. Yeah. Oh, size BRB. <laughs> Aww. Uh, but hey, I want him to link up a sampler at some point. I'd love to see him trick. And see like, uh, see them skizzizzles. <laughs> One thing I will do a little bit of is handstands and handstand variations, so. Are you gonna do pirouettes? I will do pirouettes. Mm. I'm going to do a handstand and straddle pirouette. Oh. So you might want to. I will try and move the like sleepy a... kitten. Oh, I don't want to move the sleepy. Oh, no, she's fine. She's good. She's, she's still good. sleeping. She's still sleeping. I got sleeping. her. She's like, what's happening? What's happening? It's okay. We're just scooching. Uh, I'm just trying to make gains, kitty. It's all Is right. over here okay? No, go like In that. the corner? Oh, yeah. I just don't want to kick you in the head. Right here? Yeah. Sorry, you've kicked me before. I have kicked you before. Okay. That's true. <laughs> she's like, what are you doing? I'm doing handstand pirouettes. Whoa. Oh, she's scared. She's like, you're coming my way. Oh. It's a great drill for learning 1990s and getting super good at 1990s. I just scared the poor kitty. It's all right, kitty. It's all right. <laughs> Hi. Are you gonna go back to bed? <laughs> Yo, if he has a sampler, we're good. If I see a sampler and he does an aerial, that is more than enough for me. I have a very <laughs> low bar. I've seen the best in the world. I've seen Shose in person. I've seen Michael Guthrie in person. But I've also seen some people who are just absolute dog trash. So if you can do an aerial, I'm pretty hype. Oh, you hear that shoulder pop? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm surprised your sternum hasn't popped yet. Oh, I can. So, <laughs> it's because I haven't tried. Oh. Fun fact, guys, I can make my sternum pop hard as death. So I'm going to pause the music <laughs> so they can hear my sternum pop. This is not edited. This is very real. If this doesn't pop, I'm going to feel real bad. <laughs> oh, dang it. It's not going to pop. Oh, that's so disappointing. <laughs> I don't put the music back on and pretend like that never happened. <laughs> It's because I've done so many stretches already. Uh, I'm so sorry for uh, blue balling you guys. That is such an inappropriate phrase to use, but that's exactly what I did. Oh, I feel bad. How do I work less so I can train more? So I guess that's more about structuring your lifestyle around your goals when it comes to your training and your tricking. So are you working more like I don't think working is a bad thing. I don't think you should shy away from doing work. Like there have been many times when I'm working like 40, 60 hour weeks and still training a whole bunch. I don't think work and training have to be like this dichotomy where one goes up and the other goes down. I think you can do both in a really healthy way. Like what are you struggling with as far as like the work training balance? Let me know. Let us continue this conversation. Tell me more. 
good sir. <laughs> Yes. No, I totally understand. Guys, you need to be good to your bodies. You only get one body, so be nice to it. But no, when it comes to like balancing work, training and all of that, I think one thing that matters a ton is having a good understanding of self. If your goal is to be a good public accountant and do flips on the side, that's awesome. That's great, but if your goal is to be the best tricker in the world and you're a full-time accountant, that's gonna conflict. So just make sure your goals, your dreams, and your job are all lined up together. You're gonna to be spending so much of your life in your job, quote unquote, so make sure it's one you like. Make sure it's one that you can manage and work with. Doing a nice deep pike stretch. Fun fact, if you guys do a pike stretch while flexing your feet and go down as deep as you can, you can then point your toes and go deeper. And then when you flex your feet, it'll give you like a super stretch. And then by pointing your toes, you can go deeper. And then by flexing, it'll feel more stretchy. That's because your heel is connected to your calf, which is connected to your hamstring. So when you flex your feet, you're stretching those muscles out even more. It is so helpful, so good for you. She's having fun with the long dance. She's having a great time. I'm also gonna give my ankles a little bit, just with a figure four ankle stretch. So pointing my toes as much as I can, flexing, inverting and everting as well. So just moving my foot through its full range of motion. My right ankle is super strong right now, but I like pretty much broke up my left foot a little bit over a year ago. Yo, Sai's got a sampler, they linked it. I'm gonna totally watch it after the stream. I'm not gonna watch it now. I can't put my guy on blast like that. Yeah. But I will definitely watch it after the stream. Yo, I don't care if it's tiny. If it's anything, I'll take it. Look at how stretched out she is right now. No, she is big chilling. Hey, is this what you want? Yeah. Is this what you want? Yo, this cat is so about this little mouse, this little orange mouse. I'm gonna drop it right here. She's like, what? Oh, she's about to, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Get it, kitten. Yo, it's just a clip of this BRB screen. Ha! <laughs> no, I need to see good tricks. I, if he's doing like a backflip, I'll be satisfied and happy. I am like a super chill dude. It doesn't take much to make me uh, get hype about someone's tricking. Yo, thank you so much, my prince, for the follow. <laughs> I appreciate that, my guy. Welcome to the Tricking Nation. I'm here to answer any questions about tricking. Anything like that. Today I'm working stretching, conditioning, and kittens. My girlfriend and I, Ruth. Yes. We adopted two lovely little kittens today. Baba. Oh, I'm sorry, princess. I'm dyslexic. That is always a uh, common issue for me. Reading the names is a struggle, so I'm sorry, princess. <laughs> and here's our other kitty. Yes, that is Aurora. Yes. Yeah, he does much more than backflips. That is what I want to hear. Let's go. If he's doing more, if he's doing a full, that is like super hype. Full is super hype for me these days. I don't see that many people that can full, at least not locally. It's not that I, uh, it's cause I don't know how. I'm still learning OBS, my dude. I don't understand how to click it and play it on stream. And I don't wanna watch it off stream because I feel like that'd be boring and I still need to do my stretches. I want to do like a sampler reviews and I feel like, uh, yo, if he has a sampler and I do a sampler review, I would love to check out his sampler. Oh! And someone said the link is just the BRB screen. All right, I'm free. You're free? I can stretch. Yes. 
<laughs> Yo, Raya's swing through cork, swing cork, is really hard. It is like legitimately difficult. It is not an easy thing to do. Oh, you say you have a good balance of uh, training and work. That's really good. I just sometimes want to train all the time and go to the gatherings. Yo, I get that. Like, I feel like if I could live in a gym and it was like socially acceptable, I would. <laughs> but I, I, I don't want to live that way. I, I don't truly want to live that way. I do need to balance my training. For me, training can be like an addictive thing. I have a super addictive personality. And I can get addicted to like the high of learning a new trick and getting stronger. And I actively try and moderate against that. These days I feel like I have a pretty good training balance, but when I was younger, I definitely overtrained. I just did way more than I should have. And that's why my body is so broken and beaten up these days. And why I have to do so much work on my body to keep us strong and healthy. I think this is a super undervalued exercise. Well, I uh, love that. My mom used to call these rock and rolls as a kid. You just sit, grabbing your ankles or your knees, roll onto your back, and then lean slightly forward to roll back to your feet. It's a great way to stretch the muscles in your back. It oh, looks really it silly. <laughs> it's just good for you. Though I will admit, this does look rather odd. <laughs> but this is our life. <laughs> this is how we make gains, right? Yes. All the gains. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Alright, I want to finish the stream with like one burnout exercise. Oh god, what's it gonna be? Uh... Hmm. It's gonna be... Horse stance. No, I don't want it to be a horse stance thing. I, I want it to be something for my shoulder. Um, you know what? Let's do partner squats. Let's do a bunch of partner squats. Partner squats. I haven't done that much leg conditioning, so I'm going to turn the camera up a bit. What do you mean by partner squats? I'm going to show you the partner squats. Don't worry. All right. I got you, girl. All right. So, I don't know what I'm getting into. You don't. So we're going to stand back to back. Oh. Okay. We're gonna link arms. Where's your arm? I'm like right here. We're gonna link arms. Then we're gonna squat. Jesus. And then up. Oh. So if we lean back on each other a bit, it'll be easier. So let's go up. And then up. Yeah. Let's just do a bunch of these. I feel like I'm falling back on you. You are? But that's alright. I'm trying to make gains. I really don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what I want you to do either. <laughs> We're just trying to squat. <laughs> oh my god, am I like picking you up? Yes. <laughs> this is <pop>. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm just squatting oh, and then lifting you. You just cracked my back. Did I crack your- oh, I'm sorry. That was not the <laughs> burnout exercise we were looking for. Yeah, the height difference is uh, not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sai, do you have a sampler of you tricking? I really want to know. People have been asking and I want to watch it right after the stream. I'll be ending soon. Yes, but let me introduce you to the kittens. Things. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to introduce you, dude. This is Aurora. She is absolutely adorable. She's a domestic short hair. And she's got that little spot on her forehead that I think is super dope. Super chill cat. And this is Estrella. She is also a domestic short hair. She's Aurora's sister, very lovable. Yeah, they're siblings. They're really cute. Oh, what's your opinion on samplers? I absolutely love making them. I made 20 or so. Yo, if you've made them, release them or like whisper them to me on uh, Twitch or something. Oh, you haven't made a sampler. You've got Insta edits. All right, I'm going to go dive headfirst into your Instagram after this. No pressure, but I'm going to totally dive through it. Yo, I love samplers. I wish you have it unlisted. Yo, don't unlist it. Get it out there. So many people have made samplers that are so epic, but they just don't release them. Don't be nervous, guys. Trust me, at least I will hype you up. I will never leave a hate comment on any sampler. I always try and leave some love because I love seeing them. Someone just going out and showing how they trick. There is such a beauty in that. Oh, I get it. 
Privacy is a serious thing. I totally understand that. If you want to be a more private person, you should be. The more known and the more, I guess, famous you could call it I've gotten, the more private I've become. I totally understand, dude, no pressure. But I want to see more samplers. I love samplers. They're such an important part of tricking culture. And you know, I think that is a wonderful place to end the stream. I will grab a kitten. You want to grab a kitten, Ruth? Uh, I got a kitten. Yeah, let's grab a kitten. Thank you, kittens, for joining us for this recovery stream. Thank you. Oh. It was a wonderful, <laughs> it was a wonderful event. I think we made some gains. And I think my shoulder will be feeling way better after doing all the stretching. Thank you guys who asked all the questions. I'm so happy that we got some good answers. And yeah, please just have a lovely night. Keep doing what you're doing.